Hey guys, I am super excited because today I am doing a full day of eating. It's Sunday, so it's a non-training day for me today. Um, and I've also changed my diet just a little bit. If you've been following me on Instagram, I haven't really been losing weight and I'm starting to think that it's because of my hormones and metabolic adaptation from all my past years of competition. Um, so I went and did blood work yesterday and I'm, in the, I'm waiting for those results, which should be like in about seven days. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get my gut health back in order because that can also lead to problems of hormonal issues. So I'm trying to get that back and the way that I've been eating, I was eating a lot of processed foods and um, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm eating more natural whole foods um, and I am starting my day off with 16 ounces of water and half of a lemon. That's a detox liver. I already had that. Sorry, I didn't film it. What I'm doing now is just cutting up some celery, as you can see. I don't have a juicer, but I'm just gonna blend it and then strain it. I've already washed the celery. It's about six to eight stalks. Um, and then I'm gonna put some water and then blend it. And this helps with your gut. I haven't had anything in my stomach except the lemon water. And then now I'm just having the celery juice, which I'm going to use my Ninja. I strained it. That's the stuff that I don't need. And here is the juice. I'm gonna drink about four to six ounces, probably four. This is to help with my gut health, which might be pro problems. Like, since my weight is stuck at 152, I know that a lot of you ladies might also have the same problem, that your weight is just stuck and you're doing everything right. And you're just like, what's going on? I'm eating healthy, I'm losing, I mean, I'm working out. A lot of it might have to do with your hormones and your gut health. So I've kind of like doing a reset, a detox for my body just to see if it's that, like if it's the inflammation or water retention that I'm having that's not allowing me to lose weight aside from my hormones. So this is a major, major help in that, um, like I said, it detoxes and um, it helps with your gut and your HCL levels. So it's very, very good. Um, no, I'm not doing it because everybody in the internet is doing it now because that's what it seems like. But it's actually really, really good. It might not taste the best, but it's good for you. Sometimes we just gotta do things that we don't like, right? So the trick with this is just chug it as fast as possible. Done. Okay, now I look a lot more presentable. I took a bath and put on some makeup. I'm actually going to a Williams-Sonoma Thanksgiving class. They're teaching us like how to make the turkey and stuff. I like to do the turkey every year for Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving's like my favorite holiday. It's like a tie between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think it's because I'm born in November. I'm a November baby. And I celebrate the whole month of November. So I just love it and I love cooking. I'm the one that cooks like mostly everything at our house. And there's actually no dieting on that day for me. Absolutely none. Like I don't go crazy, but I'm gonna enjoy my food. That's like the one rule. All right, so this is gonna be my meal one. Uh, I have it on my phone here, all the amounts that I have, I put it on my fitness pal. So for the first meal, I'm having a shake. It's got protein powder, spirulina, cashew milk, bananas, and chia seeds. So I'm gonna make it right now. All right, so I've got 25 grams of my protein powder. I've got spirulina, and that's about three grams. This thing is so messy. So it should be getting to 28. There we go. 
So I just put in some chia seeds. Okay, so I just put in a full banana, one cup of unsweetened cashew milk. Now we blend. And here's the finished product with my cute little pumpkin straw. Isn't it just the cutest? Since I'm not gonna be here for my meal too, I'm gonna take it with me, which is also another shake. Um, this isn't like I always eat. I This is something just to detox, <laughs> detox my body um, and kind of see what's going on with it. The, the celery juice is great for the HCL, which is hydroxylic it's like the lining of the acid for your stomach, which uh, you need some of in order to get the nutrients of the proteins and, and like vitamins, minerals that you need for your body. And everything else that I'm doing is just basically anti-inflammatory and for gut health. So all of this is spirulina, the chia seeds, all this is not usually how I'm used to eating, but health comes first and if I'm not seeing the progress that I want um, or that I should be seeing from if I'm in a deficit and the weight just stays the same. I've been at 152 for months now and I like do free feeds, I do deficits, um, you know, I'm not even doing that much uh, cardio, hit cardio, some conditioning work and nothing is happening. So I'm kind of starting to believe that it's something internal. Um, and it could start with my gut, which is why I'm doing like all these anti-inflammatory and detoxing of the liver. And the celery juice just has great properties. Since I have arthritis, I think it's also wonderful um, because it does help with a lot of diseases. It's also great for the skin, I've found out. So I'm hitting that 30 mark. I am 30 actually, what am I doing <laughs> hitting that 30 mark? So girl, if you're about 30, you need to be having some celery juice. Well, this isn't celery juice, but you should be having some celery juice because it just gets rid of those wrinkles, makes your face all pretty, and we all know we want that anti-aging stuff. Um, so I'm gonna make my shake too for to take with me to William Sonoma. So I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for a snack. We got 100 grams cucumbers, 100 grams chickpeas, and two ounces of deluxe nuts. I kind of made a little salad out of it, and I put some of this everything but the bagel sesame seed, which is from Trader Joe's. Love it. Put it on everything. And then I mixed it with some balsamic vinegar. And then I got the nuts on the side. And that's what I'm gonna eat now. And these are the nuts that I'm using. I bought them at Target, and they are unsalted. They've got almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and peas. Okay, so really quick, because my camera's about to die. This has the worst battery ever. For meal two, I've got protein shake, some blueberries, again, my uh, unsweetened cashew milk, and strawberries. It's 30 grams of the shake, of the protein, 100 grams of blueberries, and 100 of strawberries. So that's my shake. It's in here in a Yeti cup so it stays cold. And now I'm off to Williams-Sonoma for my Thanksgiving class. Still sipping on meal one. And I'll catch you guys when I come back <laughs> with green tea. Hi! So I'm here at my mom's house because she's going with us to William Sonoma. And she had to make me some for detail. I'm telling you, I'm not perfect. Just started on this. Hi guys! I am, it's 5.45 and I am back from William Sonoma. Um, the class was amazing. The, chi the turkey, well they, it was actually chicken because there's no fresh turkey. And she was explaining to us how we should buy fresh turkey um, because they put so many hormones and all this other junk and steroids into the turkey so they can be bigger. And that turkeys actually don't reproduce on their own anymore. It has to be artificially inseminated, which is awful, awful, which I think is why so many people nowadays have cancer and a whole bunch of diseases, but I'm not a doctor, it's just my situation. Um, so the class was great. We had some really good mashed potatoes. I am gonna be doing it for Thanksgiving. It is so good. It's like with leeks. Um, it's just, it was just so yummy. So I was starving when I got to my mom's house. I forgot to film. Sorry, you're hearing the air fryer. I'm making some butternut squash for tomorrow's lunch. Um, 
forgot to film, but I can tell you that I had lentil, chicken, and sweet potato. And now I'm just gonna make my dinner with some asparagus and some garbanzo beans and um, chicken. And since I did wait a little bit too late and it's already five, I might just combine my two meals, which is like a handful of nuts and some cucumbers. That's the combination of the two meals. First, I like a little tray with some aluminum foil. Uh, then I spray it with some nonstick ham. But um, I'm gonna wash it just a bit more. Just washing them right now. All you gotta do is snap. And there you go. Now I get some of this organic olive oil. I'm gonna just spray it on top. Then I use some onion garlic powder. I don't measure it. I just put it on here. Mix it around. Same thing. And then the last thing that I'll put on top is a little bit of this glaze. Just a tiny bit. And then it'll go into the toaster oven. All right, so I put it inside 425 for 45 minutes. And I just have to sit there and wait and that's gonna be my dinner. And then I also gonna be having it with some of this garbanzo beans, which I'll just take out and strain it and drain it with some water. So here I've got my chickpeas. Just gonna drain them with some water. Alrighty guys, now it's time for dinner. I already changed, took a shower, and finished cooking and about to go watch some TV with Kevin, relax a little bit, and get ready for the new week tomorrow. Um, so for today's final meal, which is my dinner, this is what I have. It is 70 grams of asparagus and 70 grams of chicken. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my full day of eating. I've never done any of these, so I really hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you wanna see next, what you enjoyed about this video, what you didn't, and what you wanna see. Thanks guys, bye, till next time.